Hi everyone, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Today we're going to have some fun. We're looking at obviously a totally different type of motorhome. This is a 2022, that's right, 2022 pre-owned, this is used, uh, Dutch Star 4311. Well, anybody that knows the Newmar products knows that anybody, anything that ends in 11, that's going to be part of their accessibility line. So you're going to have uh, some, some changes made in here that make it much easier or maybe even possible for a person in a wheelchair to uh, live and function in an RV. So that's what we have here. Wanted to show kind of the brawn lift on the outside first of all, uh, but really I know what you really want to see is on the inside, so let's, uh, let's head that direction. For me, I'll take this route. Nice and smooth. Then this yellow gate's going to lay down as we get close here. Look at that. And then it would be an easy roll, or in my case, walk in. Let's hang this up right there. All right, come on inside. <laughs> okay, for the record, if you are a standing person on the ramp, you must duck before you go in here. I apologize, we may not have that on film of me smoking my head right here because there were some words that aren't probably YouTube friendly, certainly not dealership friendly that, that came out of me. I had Tourette's for a minute. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna walk in, you might wanna duck. If you're in a wheelchair, it won't be an issue. Come on in. Okay, so anything that's said from this point of the video on should be suspect. I may or may not have a concussion. Uh, the entry doors of Newmar uh, motorhomes are very well reinforced and uh, my head is not. So um, we'll see if I can make some in uh, intelligent comments here as we go forward. Uh, so this is, as I, I mentioned, a used unit. This is a 2022, basically a demo unit is what this would be considered, but it does still have factory warranty on it. So uh, the Newmar 12 month kind of bumper to bumper warranty stays with the coach. So this transfers to the second owner of this coach. So you will have um, a, a bumper to bumper warranty for months to come. Uh, certainly this is on a Spartan chassis. The Spartan five-year warranty also transfers as does the Cummins five-year, I think it's five-year 100,000 mile warranty on the engine, five-year 200,000 mile warranty on the transmission for the Allison transmission, all that stuff. That, that transfers to you. So this is as close to buying new as you can possibly get, but you're going to get a much discounted price on that. Um, how, how much might you ask are we going to sell this motorhome for? Well, that hasn't quite been determined at this exact second, but by the time the video gets edited, it will be, and our price is gonna magically show up right here. This is the kind of stuff Troy does for us. There's your price. Uh, give us a call if you have a trade-in. We take trade-ins as well. We would love to discuss this with you. Now, how used is it? Well, it looks brand new. Uh, I've walked inside, outside, it looks brand new. Uh, how, how many miles did they put on it? Yeah, uh, 2,100, not 21,000, 2,100 miles are on this motorhome. So uh, in some areas of the country, they probably have that on them when they get there from the factory. So, um, you know, normally they arrive to me with about 180 miles on them because we're close to the factory. But, uh, you know, certainly uh, some new coaches would already have that many miles on them when, when they uh, came out the first time. So, um, what, what are we doing here? Well, we're going to take a look at everything in the coach, show you how it works. This is going to be an in-depth video. If you're looking for a, uh, a, a three-minute one, we'll probably you'll probably have to check our TikTok page. I'll do a TikTok on it after that and just show you the highlights. But for now, we're going to get in-depth in this because uh, I, I know that sometimes people come from all, all around the country, and you know if you're five states away, it's, it's hard to um, make that leap of faith and see if it's the motorhome you really want um, off of a three-minute video. So let's uh, show you what we can let's start up front so up front this is as i mentioned it's on a spartan chassis this has the same chassis underneath it as any other brand new 43 foot dutch star would have so you have the 450 horsepower engine 1250 pound feet of torque uh, and you're on the spartan chassis with the digital dashboard here you have the comfort drive um, if you're not familiar with comfort drive please type into youtube uh, comfort drive mount comfort rv you're going to see a whole video we did on that um, th this has the steerable tag axle same thing that's been covered in a lot of different videos so you can see uh, that covered in, in other videos so i don't 
waste a ton of time with that here. But let's talk about some of the controls on this coach. From the driver's seat to the driver's left, we have the fully uh, automatic HWH hydraulic leveling system. We have the Allison six-speed transmission selector here, and this has self-diagnostics built into it as well. We have a power window right here, which you don't normally see power windows on motorhomes. This has that. Our traction control button, our tag dump, um, and um, our engine brake controls are up here as well. We have two cup holders. One is currently holding my cell phone. Um, our air brakes. Uh, our power mirrors are here, ejection seat next to that. We have an input for the radio over here so you can plug in and go directly to your uh, radio um, and charge your phone if you want to. Um, our battery boost switch is here, so if, uh, that's like jumper cables. You can start your coach off of the uh, house batteries. Headlight controls are all in here as well. The dome light above my head, that's all in, in this area right here. Cruise control is on the left hand side on the turn signal. Uh, and then on the steering wheel, we have things like our wiper control. We have built-in Bluetooth into this coach, so you can answer your phone just like on a brand new car. You can answer your phone um, with, without taking your hands off the wheel. And then this over here, I always tell people, this is like a computer mouse. Um, you have up and down to select. OK is like left clicking on your computer mouse. That's your back button and that's your home button. And that's all the different stuff on the digital dash that you can go through, whether it be setting your comfort drive or looking at engine diagnostics or your trip odometer or, or any of the stuff that the digital dashboard is capable of, that is controlled through uh, the right hand feature there. We'll come over to the nice big monitors here. Uh, they raised the size of that last year so that, um, you can really um, get a good view with your camera system. This does have the 360 degree camera on it. So this is a bird's eye view looking above us down. So it's really handy when you're negotiating through tight spots. And then over here, that's just our regular uh, rear camera as well. In the center, I'm not gonna elaborate too much on each of these, but just so you know what's here, our adjustable pedal control, our visors for our side windows, our, our driver and passenger window, and our front window and window shade are all controlled right here. Docking lights, this does have docking lights back by the rear wheel so you don't hit the picnic table back and into the uh, uh, camping spot. Um, high, medium, and low, um, that's for our overhead fans that are, that are up here. Now you don't see these fans, they're not the old uh, hangy down fans that you used to see that, um, although very functional, aren't the most aesthetically pleasing. Um, they're built in, they're your defrost fans, they're built into the back of this header here. Well the control for those is right there. Um, and then you have front fan. Well, what is that? If, if, if these are the overhead fans, what's the front fan? Well, the front fan is your heater fan. There's a heat exchanger down underneath here that's tied to your house heating system, your OASIS system. Um, and that controls how much of the heat you want off of the house heating system up here in the front while you're driving or any other time, really. Um, so if you're not familiar with the OASIS or the hydronic heating system, again, on YouTube, punch in Mount Comfort RV, hydronic heating. We did a whole video just on that. Our power entry lock is right here. Generator stop uh, and start is here as well. Air horn, why does it have an air horn switch? Just default that bad boy to on. Of course we want the air horn on. Courtesy lights are our aisle lights throughout the motorhome. Um, visor, that's gonna be our passenger visor. And this is our 360 camera select so you can pick what views you wanna see on this screen, which is very, very handy. All right, I'm gonna, staying in the cockpit or in the front area here, I'm stepping down into the step well. Now, normally you would not do that because we do have a step cover here with just the press of a button. Okay, that comes out and then up and that's the same beautiful uh, Corian that's used on our countertops and everything. And yes, you can stand on that. That's made to be stood on so the passenger, their feet aren't just dangling. Both the driver and the passenger chairs do swivel around and they have incliners built into them. So you, just like a lazy boy, you're going to get your feet up um, and, and be very, very comfortable and be part of the living room conversation. The passenger has some different controls here as well. Um, they control obviously the step cover, their own visor, a map light above their head. And this is a master ceiling light switch uh, for just your main lighting through the coach. So when you're stepping up into the coach, you can reach and hit the very first button. You can hit that without being able to see it uh, and go light up, the, light up the coach for you. This is a wireless cell phone charger here. There's also one on the driver's side, so you don't have to be plugged in and tethered the whole time. Also, you have USB charger here because we all know we have our USB toys that need charged. Um, so you're gonna have charging on both sides um, of the coach. Down below here, we do have our, our coach heating and cooling. This is from your engine heat and cool. Uh, your key switch is here. You do have a 12 volt plug there. Nice little drawer here. Let's put that in and another drawer below it. 
So both seats are power, both seats are swivel, uh, and like I said, both of them have the incliners built in. Up above, what are we going to have? Well, this is going to be mostly storage up in this area up here. Uh, and part of that is because this is an accessibility coach. Newmar's built accessibility coaches for probably 10 plus years now. And they started with a gas coach and then they brought it up into their diesel line. And now they brought it into kind of their Highline diesel line, putting it in a Dutch Star. So um, they've learned a lot over the years. And one of the things we know is, is true about accessibility coaches is there's no perfect one for you. Um, no two people that have needs have the same needs. And, and so uh, they try to hit the high spots, if you will, and, and make it accessible for, for most people. I know there's a lot of people out there that need like a lift that goes from one end to the other. Uh, unfortunately, we're not set up for anything like that. This coach is wonderful because it has a great bathroom in it. It's been very thoughtfully designed with all the switches and everything and handles down low. The light switches are down low where they can be reached from a wheelchair. We have a roll-in shower that I'm gonna show you, um, handles around the toilet, a roll-up sink next to the toilet, a bed that you transfer from the wheel, it's a trans wheelchair transfer height. So a lot of things have been thoughtfully um, designed. Nobody except Numar is building an accessibility coach that is a stock coach that you can find in stock on a dealer's site. I mean, there's companies out there, a few of them that'll, that will do it as a special order. It's a one-off and it's tremendously more expensive than, than a like motorhome would be. This is in the same price range as a regular Dutch Star. They did not gouge the public um, to, to bring this to you. So um, let's go over some of the things that are um, on this coach. Um, and as they are, when I find, see the ones that are a little different because it's an accessibility coach, I'll point that out to you and with the thought process behind it. The first one that comes to mind in that regard is right here. Normally on any other Dutch Star, these controls would be up in this overhead. Well, obviously that would be difficult to impossible to reach from a, from a wheelchair. So it's been put right over here where somebody in a chair can definitely reach your co controls. And these, this is the main control center for your coach. Coach. This is your Oasis system that is your primary heating system for the coach. It's a hydronic heating system um, that, that works by circulating a glycol throughout the coach. And, and the controls for it are here and on the thermostat, which the thermostat is down, the thermostat controls are down here. So you can control the whole system right here. We have two inverters, or I'm sorry, that's not correct. We have one inverter on this coach. And we have an energy management system on the coach. Both of those are right here, along with things like auto generator starter controlled here as well. We have our WineGuard digital antenna on the roof. It's controlled here. Um, our little awning above the door comes in and out with this control that you see here. Our main awning control is right here. All right, so our slide out control for our front slide out is right here. And then we have things like security lights and block heater and the satellite system. Yes, this has a satellite dish on it and the exterior step. That's all controlled in this row of lights here, or row of switches here. We have an entry lock switch so you can lock the door without going over there by the step well. And then we have our touch screen here. And from here I can do things like check my tank levels, uh, see what my battery voltage is out, top off my water tank, turn my water pump on, um, and control the HVAC system, the cooling system right here as well. So uh, that's all controlled through this little touch screen. And again, nice because it's accessible um, from the wheelchair, but also it's not ugly because it's behind a cabinet door and it just goes away. Uh, we have an outlet right here as well that kind of goes for the passenger seat up here. So if somebody in the passenger seat wants to plug in a laptop or something, they can actually get to this plug and, and do that. Um, so we'll go up from here. We have storage and then we have a spot for a satellite receiver. This is a, a glass door here. So your remote control will work through that. That's, that's why they do it that way. Up above this is storage. We have a Bose sound bar. Okay. More storage here and more storage there. Well, um, why do we have a sound bar right there? Well, let's show you why. We have a sound bar right there. Oh, hang on. Our top is off center here. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. So um, our TV, our Samsung TV coming out from behind the fireplace there comes right out and centers up nicely with the sound bar. So when you're sitting here on the main sofa or in the driver's seat or passenger seat or even on the little uh, makeshift booth we have here, um, you have great viewing angles and there's plenty of room for a wheelchair in here. One of the things we're going to show you later is that even with the slides closed, this is the amazing part of this motorhome. With the slides closed, you can still get from the bed to the front door with the, or to the front seats, I should say, 
in a wheelchair. And that's what this was designed to do. Uh, and there's just no other coach like that. I mean, most of these coaches, when you close all, all the slides and everything, you know, you have an aisle way you can walk through, but you're certainly not gonna, gonna roll through it in a wheelchair. So that, that was one of the th more thoughtful designs of this coach as well. This coach does have three slide outs. We have our main slide here. We have two in the bedroom. The reason we do not have a slide on this door side of the coach up front is because then when we brought that slide in, we would not have the room that we have in here to roll up and down. So that's, that's what we had in mind. Now, as we go through this countertops a little lower, obviously um, we understand why that's done that way. Um, you can get to the sink. It's a single stainless sink, undermounted. This is an all electric motor home. Fair amount of countertop space here for sure and then we have our induction cooktop and that is a two burner induction cooktop and it's removable you can take it outside with you if you want to cook with it on the picnic table let's look at some of our storage options down low but well actually before we get there normally these light panels these are, these are mostly lighting control normally these would be mounted on the wall well again mounted on the wall when you have to reach over the sofa to do that that would be very difficult so they put them down here even though some of these light controls are for over here some of them are for over here uh, you can get to all of them very easily here um, from a wheelchair or not um, things like your fan control to turn on one of your overhead kitchen fans that's here we have a dinette table that moves up and down again because we don't know what somebody's needs are so let's Take a look at that table, it moves up, it moves down, it moves in, it moves out. Whatever you need, that table will pretty much do. It has a drop leaf on it as well, but those controls for this are over here. All right, storage. We have a garbage can here. Oh, we have a Luma wires that needed to be tied up a little bit better. We'll take care of that for you. Um, we have trash cans here. We have pull out here. This is all soft clothes. Um, this little cubby over here is for the sink covers that are up here. We have drawers. One, two, three small drawers, and then three larger drawers for your pots, pans, in this case, remote control, stuff like that. And you can see this coach is just absolutely like new. Little cubby here for storage as well. All right, we have a stainless vent here, and then we have storage up above. Those are adjustable shelves. So you can put your big items in there or your small items in there, your choice. Now, normally a microwave would be a 30 inch convection residential microwave mounted up here where you can't possibly reach it from a seated position. Okay, this is a convection microwave, a little smaller, but most importantly mounted much lower so that it is accessible. Then take a look at our pantry space here. And we have a little bit of electrical down here. All right, we come back to the middle of the coach. We're gonna have a Whirlpool 19.7 cubic inch LED lit refrigerator up top with freezer below. Awesome storage above this. That is deep. Get a shot of that, please, Troy. It goes all the way back in there so you can fit some serious items in there. Um, I mean, obviously cookie sheets and everything are a no brainer, but uh, toaster, coffee maker, if they're not too tall, they'll go in here as well. Maybe a small air fryer even. All right, this closet here is designed for a lot of different things. As we have it now, it's a double wardrobe. We have hanging space above, hanging space below, but you notice a lot of plumbing back in there. So obviously it is set up for a stackable washer dryer if you want. You could also split the difference and do an all-in-one washer and dryer um, down on the bottom and then still keep your hanging space up top. Oh, I, could, I could light that up a little better. There we go. Um, so now you get a good view of what all that is, but it just kind of depends. It's going to be dealer's choice as to what you want. Um, we can certainly pop a, a stackable washer dryer in there if somebody wants. If you want it just like this, great. This little table down below, that was taken off of the passenger seat. That, that is normally on the passenger seat so that they can have a little laptop table. Um, the previous owner didn't like it on there, so one bolt takes it off and no big deal. Also, one bolt takes it back on. All right, so now we're on the back side of our um, uh, our wheelchair lift, our brawn lift, obviously. So um, we do have a bug screen here. One of the things that they've discovered over the years is that obviously it takes a little while 
getting up and down and getting in and out. So while that's happening, you can close the bug screen and keep the coach from getting filled up with bugs. So um, I, I believe that was one of the ideas that came from a previous owner of one of these. And, and that's always where we get our best feedback from. Uh, Newmar pays very close attention to their, to their owner's group. And as ideas are thought of, um, they're very receptive to those ideas. And oftentimes you see them come out in later models and, that, and that's what's happened here. All right, come back to the middle of the coach here. All right, we're entering the bathroom. Now we do have a pocket door here. Hang on for one second. Okay, so we have our privacy pocket door here. So this whole area shuts off from the front of the coach and we have a, um, a soft closed door. Where's it at? Here it is. Um, we have a expandable door over here. So you can close off this entire mid bathroom area and have complete privacy and have this entire area to yourself. So what's in here? Well, I mentioned it before, but we have a roll up sink. So this you roll right up. You have handle on either side of the toilet here and lots of room and space around the toilet. You have a roll in shower with a seat with handles everywhere. And it's big, it's a sizable shower. All right, and then let's go over some of our storage options in here. All right, nice medicine cabinet with an outlet in there. Plug my hair dryer in. Okay. Then right over here, more storage. This is all, all these are lined. They're just it, it's beautiful woodwork and beautiful cabinets. Um, but the lined really helps keep things quiet and keeps them from moving around. All right. So there's our bathroom area. Now we enter into here. Look at the space in this bedroom. You have tremendous space. You can put a wheelchair right here and transfer. You can put a wheelchair right here and transfer again whatever your needs are whatever's going to work best for you this was well thought of and, and well thought out and, and i think um, for most people they would find it very usable user friendly uh, still kept a little bit of storage we lost some of our underbed storage but we still kept a little bit of storage under the bed okay now we have storage options in here as well so we have two cabinets like this here and here they're identical if you've seen one you've seen them all um, drawers I believe there's five of these drawers and then one of them is going to be probably a fold down yeah so we have a fold down right here that's for your satellite receiver so five drawers two wardrobes and one spot for a satellite receiver and then look at this closet We've got, we have another great closet here can be hanging space we have a big adjustable shelf i put the spare chair in there there's that's a chair that goes with the dinette it matches the leather perfectly nice folding chair and then let's get a shot of the closet. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna get out of the way. Troy, do your stuff. Nice little shoe cubby back in the back wall. We have a safe back in the back corner back there. It's well lit, there's lots of hanging space. Awesome shower. All right, now. Let's go take a look at, at how this motorhome looks when we bring the slides in. I think you're gonna be impressed. Okay, so believe it or not, folks, the, the slides are in, um, fully in. This is no trick photography, anything like that. This is a fully closed up 2022 Dutch Star motorhome. And look at the space in here. Wheelchair can easily ride all the way up through here, have room to turn around here, room to turn around here, into the bathroom, into the shower, 
I've talked with people before about this that you know it's not a bad floor plan for somebody not in a wheelchair because most of them like I said if you spend a lot of time on the road um, sometimes people feel a little squeezed by the you know the full wall slide on this side and the opposing slide here in the bedroom slide you get those all squeezed up you're, you're pretty tight in here and it's a little hard to move around this one's not hard to move around at all so nobody's gonna beat this coach as far as space going down the road that's for sure okay let's show you what's on the outside Okay, so let's go over all the features on the outside of this 2022 Dutch Star 4311 from Newmar. So of course we have side cameras and we have backup cameras and we have 360 cameras, so there's cameras all over it. These are the turn signal activated ones, so when you're going down the interstate, you wanna move a lane to the right or a lane to the left, all you have to do is turn on your turn signal, it's going to show you on that big display screen inside what's in your blind spot. Wonderful safety feature, I don't think we talk about it enough. So there is a clear film on this coach. We have a beautiful masterpiece finish uh, that protects this coach and makes it look like a million bucks going down the road. But also we want to protect that. You know, Florida's got those bugs that like to eat, uh, their, their juices like to eat the paint. Well, this will protect against that right here on your front end. And you don't, unless you're really looking for that film, you don't see it. That film is also around here because sometimes you might have keys in your hand. Ladies, if you have a big ring, um, you know, you could, you could scratch your paint by grabbing a hold of this handle. So they put a piece of that film right there. They really thought it out very, very well, um, all the good places to put that. You can put your own code in here, keyless entry, to unlock your doors, lock your doors, lock your compartment doors, unlock your compartment doors, all of that stuff. That's all built into this handle. It even has a doorbell. We optioned in the stainless package on this coach. So as you go around, you don't just see ugly black steps and, and just paint down here. You see the beautiful mirrored finish all the way around. Th these are big boy tires here. These are the uh, Michelin 365 70R 22.5s, um, which are a huge tire, but that's just going to give you that much better ride up front. By the way, this is a true Dutch star, which means unlike 95% of the diesel motorhomes out there, this has independent front suspension. Uh, so instead of having a solid axle here and a tire here and a tire here where whatever bump you hit here, kind of that energy gets transferred all the way through the front end. No, it's more like this. This side does its thing on the left side and same thing on the right side uh, so that the, the, the chuck hole that this tire hits, does not that energy does not get transferred through the whole coach. It also gives you uh, a tighter turn radius. You get up to a 60 degree wheel cut uh, with that. So uh, it's always fun when I'm test driving with a customer. One of the fun things to do is take this coach out in a big circle somewhere and just turn it as tight as it can turn because it feels like it's just moving sideways. People are always stunned at how sharp a turn this coach will actually make. So um, it's a true Dutch star in every sense of the word. Our fuel fill is from either side. So there's one of these, there's one fuel tank, 150 gallons, um, and it can be fueled from either side. So that way when you're pulling into that gas station, you don't have to think about, well, there's a pump I can get to, but my fill's on the other side. Forget about that, fill from either side. All right, so new for this year, they added this shelf up top, which is just a little extra storage space. It was kind of wasted space above the freezer there. Speaking of freezer, this runs off 12 volt or 120 volts, whichever you have available. And it can be set to freeze or to refrigerate, either one. So keep the steaks frozen or the beer cold, your call. All right. We come over here, this is a power tray that does go all the way through. It's a pass through, but look at this, it's electric. So how easy is that? You can, again, if you're out here in a wheelchair, you can easily reach the button and get to what you need to get to. No, no problems. This is, it's hard to demonstrate during the day, these storage bays are all lit up with LED lights. If one door is open, it, the entire basement is lit up. We did not put a storage tray in the second one um, because you do lose a little height with storage trays. There's good points and bad points about storage trays, but look at the height you have through there for, your, for massive amounts of storage all the way through. You can see over there on the far side, those are extra tiles for the floor. If you ever dropped a skillet or something and broke a tile, you have matching tiles out of the same batch. We come right back here. This is another nice tall storage tray and then, or storage bay. And then right here, you have your central vac. Uh, so the coach does have, I should have shown it on the inside and I didn't, I apologize. But on the inside, you have a place to attach tools um, and vacuum your coach. You don't have to take a vacuum cleaner with you. We did not forget about you when it came, came to outside entertainment. We have another Samsung TV with a Sony sound bar. On a swivel arm, we have an extra outlet out here to plug in any other toys you wanna um, put out here. It's magnetic, so it goes back in place just that easily. I mentioned uh, that this is a tag axle coach and that uh, this does have a steerable tag. How does that work? It's not attached to the steering links in any way. There's no computers involved per se. 
What it is is it's called passive steering. If you're going forward and you're below a certain speed and you turn the wheel, these rear wheels, this tag axle will follow you. I always describe it the same way because it's the best way I've thought of to describe it to people. When you have a grocery cart and you go up and you start to make a turn, there's nothing mechanical that turns those front wheels. They're just free wheel, free wheeling and they, they automatically turn in the direction they need to go. That's how this works as well. Um, when you're above a certain speed, I believe on Spartan it's 45 if memory serves, um, and when you're above that, the air system actually locks them straight uh, so that you don't have to worry about it. All Newmar slide outs are flush mount slides, none of that plastic trim to hide the sloppiness. Um, you know, you can see that this re recesses back into the wall, and the nice part about that is it's just that much less of an opportunity to get dirt or rain or wind that makes noise back in uh, to your sidewall. We have manual window awnings here and in the front window over there. And then up top, that entire top row at the very top that you see up there, that's two separate Girard awnings and there's a smaller awning above the door. So you have a lot of opportunities for shade on this side of the coach. Okay, this is our DEF that you see right here. Again, this can be filled from either side of the coach. DEF is diesel exhaust fluid. Um, if you're not familiar with what that is, that's part of the after treatment um, of the engine. Um, and I would gladly explain that to you. So just give me a call. This is the chassis side. These are chassis batteries that you see right here. Um, those are what start the engine. And then these are little disconnects to shut it off if it is in storage. All right, as we come to the back, one of the things that again, most diesel pushers don't have is access to the engine. This has a side radiator. Not a, rear, or not a rear radiator. So if we needed to change a belt, if we needed to get to our filters, look how easy they are to get to. There's three filters right here, boom, boom, boom. Just super easy to get to. Um, engine accessibility is at a premium here, so uh, people like the fact that it's a side radiator coach. We have a tow hitch on it, of course. That tow hitch is rated at 15,000 pounds. Most diesels are five to 10,000. This is a 15,000 pound tow rating. So. Um, you can tow just about whatever you want behind it. And it's all set up for air brakes. If you have an air activated tow system, br tow braking system, I should say, uh, then uh, this is already plumbed for it on the motorhome side. As we come forward, you can see that rear radiator here. And then right here, you have the little blue cap. Well, that's our, again, that's our DEF fill from the other side. It's one tank, but fillable from either side. Our sewer hose gets its own dedicated spot. You don't want your sewer hose intermingling with anything else, so it gets its own little compartment and it's not in there hanging out with your fresh water hose. Obviously, aluminum wheels, you would expect that at this price point. Um, we have an extra exhaust pipe back here. What's that for? Well, that's that hydronic heating system. We'll come back to that. Look, we have a paper towel holder out here whole house water filtration system. Our hose reel is power, so we're not looking for a place to store that hose. Um, our this is a macerator, so there's two different ways to dump this coach. A macerator is like a garbage disposal and a water pump built into one. So it grinds up any solids, which you really shouldn't have because it's a macerating toilet anyway, but let's say there was still something kind of solid in the tank, uh, something. Um, you could uh, uh, turn on your macerator and, and it would grind it up and, and dispose of it for you. Also with a macerator, you can hook an extra garden hose up to it, not your fresh water hose, an extra dedicated garden hose for one purpose and one purpose only, which would be to dump over a longer distance, but then don't put that hose back into circulation anywhere else. We do have hot and cold water out here as well to rinse off with if need be. In our next compartment forward, we have our 50 foot, 50 amp shore power cord. So that's also on a power reel, the buttons out here where it's easy to get to um, and you're not wrestling with that power cord. Anybody that's ever wrestled one of those on a cold day, they don't like to bend. So you, you'll be thankful of, of that. There's a built-in surge protector here and our hookups for satellite um, or cable are out here as well. I've mentioned a few times the hydronic heating system or the Oasis system. Oasis is a brand of hydronic heating. That's what we're looking at here. So this is our primary heating system for the coach, not our only heating system. So our primary heating system, so if it's less than 40 degrees outside, your other heating systems in the coach are not gonna be, uh, are not gonna get it done, quite frankly. Uh, that's when you would need this system. It is also your water heating system. This is a hot water on demand system, so it will give you uh, all the hot water you need. So if you want to take a 40 minute shower, you can certainly do so with this system. Now, how else could we heat the coach? Well, if it's above 40 degrees, we can use our heat pumps. They're built into the air conditioners, so that's easy enough. Um, and if you're using the campgrounds electricity, even better. Um, but there's also an electric floor heat, not 
tied to this system in any way. It has a blanket underneath the tile um, that probably if it's above 50 degrees, you'll be able to use that to uh, heat your coach. And last but not least, I saw a fireplace in there. So heating this coach is not going to be a problem. I promise you that. All right, moving on. As we take a look at our pass-through storage from the opposite side, we can look at our storage tray from the opposite side. Again, separate button. It'll come out either side. So if what you want is on either end, you can get to it. We have our battery tray all on a very neat pull-out tray, and these are eight AGM, that's absorbed glass mat batteries. Um, if you're not familiar with those, let me know. I'll be glad to go into further details on that. Our secondary fuel fill. And then we come up front here, and we can see um, we have a little bit of water dripping off here. That's from the air conditioner because we're sitting at a pretty good tilt. Normally, that water would not run off like it is now. Um, it's doing that because we are tilted right now. Um, our parking lot is not level, and I'm getting a little shower. Um, these are chassis fuses in here for Spartan. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this. There we go. And come up front. And we're going to see our 10KW Onan generator. Now, again, most diesel pushers are going to have a 6 or an 8KW generator. Um, this is a 10. It's got a third air on it, so this helps to, to uh, run that as well. I can't, we're, we're leaning too far forward. This whole front end pulls out, so it is a pull-out generator. I don't want to break the cable. Um, I know our nose is down, so that's putting weight on it, and it's not going to cooperate with me right now. All right, so that's a little bit, got windy all of a sudden, that's a little bit about our Dutch Star 4311. If you think this might be the right coach for you, I know there's a handful of people out there looking for a used one. Now, some people want a 10-year-old used one and want to see that kind of discount. We're not going to be there, but this will be significantly less than you could buy a 2022 or a 2023 model for, and you still have some factory warranty left. If this looks like the right coach for you, don't forget the number one rule of my videos, ask for me. I don't get paid to do videos. I, I do them because it does help bring me some business, but to, to complete that transaction, you have to ask for me. So that's it. If you like this, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to our videos and check back with us next time. I'm Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Thank you for watching.